Okay, it's a typical GCSE physics exam style question on moments. Can you do this? This question is about the principle of moments. So for equilibrium, about point O, the sum of clockwise moments is equal to sum of anti-clockwise moments. Now we can clearly see the moment created by the 200 Newton force is clockwise. 300 Newton force is also clockwise, but force F creates an anti-clockwise moment. The clockwise moment of the 200 Newton force is the force 200 multiplied by distance naught point 2. Now we have to add the moment of the 300 Newton force. So it's force multiplied by distance. Now this is where most students make uh, mistakes, right? So what they do is they multiply 300 by 0.3. It's not 0.3 because it's a distance from the pivot. So you can see it's all of this distance I'm highlighting in yellow. So it, it is 0.3 at 0.2, which is 0.5. Now the anti-clockwise one says only one force. So that will be F multiplied by 0.4. Now the rest is simple maths. 200 times 0.2 is 40. 300 times 0.5 is half of 300. That's 150 is equal to F times 0.4. 190 is equal to F times 0.4. So the final answer is 475 Newtons.